All right. Hi everyone, Rachel Herman here, and I am here to talk to you about our AP Government textbook adaption. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. All right. So again, our rationale for the adoption of this textbook is that our current AP government book um, at this point lacks relevance to the new curriculum. So AP government recently revised their course framework, and so we're looking for an AP government textbook that aligns to that new course framework. Um, regular government or AP government is a required course. And so having a textbook, again, to support that course is really important. AP government is a year-long class. And we average about 125 students per year who take this course, so roughly around one to two sections per school. So the resource that we are recommending is American Government Stories of a Nation uh, by Scott Abernathy and Karen Waples. And our rationale for this adoption is that this book is one of few that currently aligns to the new course framework. At the end of every chapter, this book provides a test bank as well as free response questions that emulate what students are going to see on that AP exam. So really providing that test preparation. There's also a supplemental book that comes with this textbook that includes the required Supreme Court cases and foundational documents that are required by the College Board. Um, students have the ability with this textbook to have the text read to them, um, including at varying rates, and that really does support our students' ability to take notes, interact with the text, um, which is really supportive of their comprehension. And lastly, um, we feel that this textbook addresses controversial subjects in a very non-biased fashion. So student feedback of the resource, um, in terms of the text being engaging and understandable, um, students rated this textbook very favorably. So you can see threes and fours um, really across the board. Um, visuals, so again, that balance of both text as well as graphics um, in, in order to help students to better comprehend the text, again, very favorable on that end. Um, examples being relevant to them as learners and applying to the world around them, again, very favorable. Some additional student quotes. Um, so we try to keep it real with the kids. And um, this quote, I like this textbook more than the previous. It's less wordy, easier to understand, but doesn't skip out on important details. I feel like I'm able to fully understand the concepts of the course much better when we are using this resource. Though the process of getting to the text is difficult, it's going through BB9, but when you use the ClassLink app to access it, the text or any quizzes done on this resource are glitched out. Um, we are working on that. So with the pilot, we didn't utilize ClassLink. Um, when we officially move to adopt this resource, we're hoping that those glitches um, alleviate themselves because we would use our actual ClassLink onboarding system. Um, other students commented they liked the resource better, the information was condensed, um, and then many of the teachers will comment, and I, I am bringing a teacher with me to the board meeting, that students would like physically say, oh, can we please use the good textbook, um, referring to the Abernathy text. In terms of a neighboring district comparison, um, because AP government is a course that runs across many of our neighboring districts, we were able to uh, get this information. And so you can see that this is a very popular textbook used across many of our neighboring schools. Um, there were a few schools that, that did not um, do not use it. Um, however, many of those schools that we talked to are actually trying to move to this book because, again, it is one of the few books that's aligned to the newly revised course framework. In terms of our professional development plan for implementation, um, with any of our AP courses and AP course textbook adoptions, we work with our vendors um, around the resources and supplementary, supplementary materials and ensure that those vendors are doing professional development with our staff. Teachers, we give them time in the summer to come together and collaborate around the implementation of the materials. Um, and then lastly, we build in time during our early release days, as well as during their common um, prep time next year to collaborate around that implementation. 
The cost of this adoption is $22,218, and what that includes is a six-year license for the online textbook, a class set of the hard copies of the textbook for students who, for whatever the reason, can't access the digital materials, um, five teacher editions, and then it also includes an assessment suite so that teachers, again, are not curating their own um, multiple choice or free response questions that emulate the AP exam. I look forward to, like I said, bringing a teacher with me to the board meeting to come and answer any questions that you might have about the book. Thank you so much.